Hi, welcome back to my little series on home automation. After having done a video on installing an S thermostat and automating some few curtains, today it's time for the blinds. These are Tom Sanderson blinds. Tom Sanderson is the UK arm of Hunter Douglas, so it's Hunter T Douglas technology that we're covering today. They come with a little remote, they call it the Pebble remote because of the shape, and uh, yeah, it, it does what you expect. You can you can open the blinds and then funnily enough you can also close them again and then you can also tilt them and tilt them back. So what more do you want from blinds? Now if I just have to use the remote all the time it's a bit pointless. The one thing I use most of the time is the scheduling that comes with the app that you get um, to interface with the system. It has really good scheduling, including uh, sunset and sunrise, which most systems do, but uh, it also allows you to specify uh, an offset to sunset. So you know, our blinds close about half an hour after sunset and these things just work. But also today I want to talk about um, automating them uh, with interfacing with other home automation systems. There's a really good write-up about the, the JSON programming interface and I'll include that in the description. I've also included in the description the source code for a smart thing smart app. I'm not going to go into the detail of that. If you want to see how that's done you can have a look at the series on, on Sonfi Curtain integration where I've done that in, in great detail. Today I want to talk about integrating the blinds with ift.com and the Amazon Alexa. Ift, if you haven't seen it, it's, it's really cool, very simple, it's a, it's a web page. Ift um, is spelled ifttt.com and it stands for if this then that. And you can simply get a trigger and then a, an action. So you can trigger an action. There are triggers for Alexa and you always have to use the word trigger in the Alexa command and then there are actions for different scenes that you can set with Hunter Douglas. So that works really really well. One thing with IFT is it always has a bit of a delay. So if I say Alexa trigger open back blinds Sending that to IFT. then you can see it's going to take a while until they actually open which you know, isn't that bad because I only use that when I'm really too lazy to get off my chair, so I might as well wait for a few seconds. Normally, I actually just use the scheduling that comes with the with the app that you can have for the Hunter Douglas um, Pebble Remote. It's called PowerView. And see, there it is now. But the scheduling is really, really clever. Most scheduling systems have sunset and um, sunrise, but that's quite fixed. This scheduling actually has an offset to the sunset or sunrise. So, for example, half an hour after sunset, my blinds close. And that's really neat. And I hardly ever really touch the remote. And sometimes I do use the voice command via Alexa. But all in all, it just works a treat. So, all that's left to do is Alexa trigger close back blinds. And then again, a little bit of a delay, but it will come. I really like the system. It's very, very simple. It just works. And um, I have seen automated blinds that are very, very noisy. I think they're actually not too bad. They're relatively quiet. And the service that we got from Thomas Anderson all around was really good. So can only recommend that. So, bye for now. Thank you for watching.